you know, you talk about we don't teach kids about the evils of socialism. And I'll end with this. What we really don't teach kids, and nobody knows, no matter what educational system I, is about the beauty of capitalism. You know, we teach the 19th century from the perspective of Dickens. But Dickens tells a liney, tiny little sliver what the 19th century was. The 19th century was about people going from $2 a day to wealth. It's about going from life expectancy of 39 to over 60. It's about the creation of the modern world. It's about the art. And, the, and it's not an accident that, that the art is, is created during the 19th century. Beethoven is the first, the reason maybe Beethoven keeps coming to my mind, Beethoven is the first composer to make money off of his composition without being dependent on some aristocrat writing him checks but actually doing public concerts and selling tickets. That's capitalism. The beauty of capitalism, the beauty of the Industrial Revolution, the beauty of the 19th century, the most important century in human history in terms of progress, that is what we don't teach. Forget the negatives. We don't teach the positives. We don't teach what is really sustaining human life. So there's no, so to me, it's, 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 it's not, it's not surprising that people don't know meaning, they're, they're, they're infatuated with socialism, they're infatuated with, with communism now or, or with white supremacy or whatever, because they don't know what's positive, they don't know what's led to the greatest civilization in human history, which is what we're living through in spite of its decline, it's still the greatest time to be alive if you're a human being in terms of what you can do with your own life, particularly if you take it on a global on a global scale. So let's Thank teach you. the positive. Let's focus on the positive. Let's focus on the beauty. Thank, Thank you. you.